What's going on guys? We're gonna go hang out with the P-Chicks today. We haven't hung out with them in a while, so we're gonna do some things over here in the chicken run. We're gonna move around the chicks, move around the P-Chicks, get some chicken tractors converted over for winter today. So let's get started. Let's feed the cat. Not me. Not me. Not me. I will. We have this duck that every morning she flies up on top of this little covering and she'll go up on top of the old chicken run. She loves to fly. She'll fly around the whole run and but she'll always end up inside. She needs a name. We need some good names for her. She's a chocolate Muscovy. How far are you along in your pregnancy? Three to four months. How's the feel doing chores or how do you feel in general right now? I feel great. Uh, doing chores, um, lifting heavy buckets and stuff, it's still, I mean, it's the same. I just always want to take as much caution as possible and not do too much. I let Jake handle the feed bags and really heavy lifting so I'm not stressing myself too much. But everything else I can handle pretty much. I can move the chicken tractor still and get over the fences still. <laughs> It's gonna be fun to see if I can still get on over them when I'm real big. Hi, pickles. Pickles. I'm gonna come over here by the turkey and he's gonna gobble the entire time I talk. It's been a nice fall morning doing the chores as a family. On a Saturday, we're able to do that. We don't have to rush around and try to get Eli to school. We have a lot more time to spend um, relaxing and doing the chores. So it's really nice to just spend time as a family outside with our animals and enjoying the great weather that we have right now. I think Jake is going to move some peacocks and the meat chickens out. He's gonna work on some more plastic around the chicken tractors, trying to get some more winterizing. I know it's supposed to be about 29 degrees on Friday during the night and we need to probably get this garden, we'll cover it up for sure. Just the peppers are still coming along, I still have some green, I have some red tomatoes in there too, but some green tomatoes. I'll try saving as much as I can, but we need to get this garden cleaned up and put away for the winter. This garden's pretty much done. We need to dig up the peanuts and try to make some peanut butter. It's gonna be fun. You love your peanut butter, don't you? Yeah. Here. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I need a pee. Nothing better than fresh peas. You want a pee? Yeah. <sighs> All right. Well, you may remember that we had the the whole big accident here with the chicks was right over here. It was right out where the roof ended there and where they got really muddy. And so we ended up moving those guys out into the chicken tractor that is right over there. So we need to get that chicken tractor converted over for winter, get some clear plastic on it so it'll allow the sun in, allow them to get really warm during the day, but then protect them from rain and any wind, things like that. And then we've got these little Sokies in here with their broody hen. And then we've got our hen back there with the pea chicks. And you know what, they're in the small area of this chicken run and that doesn't really make sense because now they're getting bigger, they're starting to get really flighty and we can put them over here in this area, give them a lot more room to spread out and we can move the hen and the three silky chicks. We can move them to the other side. We'll get things moved around and then we'll check in with the pea chicks here. So let's get started. All right, we are ready to switch these guys around. I've got the broody hen from the, the pea chick area right here in my hand. And we've got mama hen and the little silky chicks right down here. So I'm gonna need Uriah's help. We'll grab all of these guys down here. And then we'll grab the pea chicks and put them over in their area. All right, bud, you ready to help me? Yeah. Okay. 
Help me grab all these guys. All right, we've got the chicks moved over. Now we just have to pick up the pea chicks. Uh-oh, she's stuck, she's stuck. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, they're there. Now they're both gonna be really confused because they're in each other's area. So they're gonna be by the fence trying to get back to their home. So let me get everything moved over, their food and water, get it all switched around. Cause they are eating different things. The chicks are eating some chick starter feed and we've got the peafowl. They're eating a, a game bird wild feed that's I think 22% protein. And then I don't know. So they have just a little bit slightly different feeds. I feel my heart is going full speed. I can't control it. All right, well, this tarp did a wonderful job for us this year. The mean green, ugly, uh, the shade cloth. But the problem in the winter is, is that it provides shade. It blocks the wind, but it doesn't allow the sun through. So it doesn't keep the chickens warm. And so what we need to do is switch it out for this plastic, this clear plastic tarp right over here and get it on there. And then that way it'll allow the sun to get through. The chickens will get warm and it'll block the wind. It'll keep them as warm as possible, even though it may be 20 or 30 degrees out, it could still get up to 50 or so inside there because of the, the sunlight that's coming through. So let's get that switched out. I know it's not exciting to see a tarp get put on a chicken tractor. So let's just do it right now, just like that. So now they are all set. They've got plastic up here and you guys don't think I just did that in a second, do you? That took me like an hour to do. They are looking good in here. I got this, uh, this advice last year to put some straps on there to keep this from ripping off. So, and then we've got some little plastic on the end. So three fourths of the way around, they won't be getting hit by wind. And if it gets really bad and windy, we'll put some here on the front as well. Yay, meaties. We do have a heat lamp that turns on in here in the evening. They've been doing really well. I think they're gonna have a little bit of slower growth just because of how cold it is. And so they're having to use some of their energy to stay warm, but they're doing great. They're right on schedule. We got about three to four weeks left and we'll have some chicken in the freezer. All right, so we got these jelly melons from Baker Creek and we wanted to check it out. It's super sharp and spiky and I don't think it's very ripe for us. We didn't have a great season for it, but we're gonna check it out, cut it open and see what it's like. Yeah? Uh-huh. <laughs> Not easy. Ah. Wanna try it? Wanna try it? Oh. Ah. This tart like a cute kiwi. Ah. Yeah, people said it was a mix between a kiwi and different types of melons. I don't think ours is fully ripe. And it's a kiwi, but kind of a sour or tart kiwi. They're cool looking, but I don't know if we'll grow them again. Yeah, we got them because they looked really bizarre being all sharp and weird. I mean, look at those spikes on that thing. It's super sharp. Yeah, I don't know. Has anybody ever had jelly melon out there? How are you supposed to eat this thing? Is this just a big mush pile? Because it seems like it's just a whole bunch of seeds and jelly. Probably why it's called a jelly melon. So not sure what to do with it other than to eat it and be done with it. But uh, jelly melon, fun experiment. All right, so we're in here. We've moved the, the pea chicks over into the bigger area. We wanted to give you a little bit of an update, talk about them, answer any questions you guys may have as far as what's going on with them. Right now they are just over five weeks old. People were saying between week six and eight that they might start getting some blue coloring and we might be able to tell the, the sex of them. Of course, we've got two of these and I can't tell a big difference in any way that they look other than one is a little bit bigger than the other. So I'm hoping that's a good sign as far as one might be a male, one might be a female. We're not sure on that. Of course, you see the feathers are looking really cool on top of the head. Look at those guys. That's so cool. We definitely don't handle them enough. I'd love them to be more comfortable with us. We pretty much leave them alone every day and just let them hang out with the, the mother hen, the Australorp hen that's been taking care of them. I love hearing their noises. This one right now is crying for help a little bit. The other one's cooing. I think for it's the mother hen. We, we put the mother hen just out in the yard for a moment just so she wouldn't be too freaked out with us here playing with them. We really don't want to get into clipping wings of these guys if we don't have to. 
as long as we keep them in an enclosed area they'll be just fine because they can jump around fly around in here and that's totally fine if we let them out in the yard especially when they get bigger they're gonna start getting on top of the house they're gonna get out in the road and we just can't have that happen we have so many trucks and farm equipment that drive through here and we really don't want to cause a problem for them and we don't want these birds to get hurt at all like a truck come through and, and hit these guys anything bad like that to happen so as far as food we feed them every couple days there's only two of them plus the hen so we don't have to put a lot of food out we just have a small container over here of the food we give them plenty of water we've got a lot of waters out here see here the cry for help as soon as i pick up a different one So we're just outside the run right now and just wanted to show you you know how much they've developed from the feathers on top of their head their wingspan is so gorgeous they have these little white feathers in between the the brown feathers all around and I posted a picture the other day on our instagram about the wingspan the width of them even though they are you know fairly small still and there's not much body mass their wings have are probably a foot long each way their tail feathers i don't know if there's any indication like a rooster like this would indicate to me on a chicken that this is a rooster with these type of spiky feathers but on peafowl i just don't know if males and females differentiate enough with the way their their tails form up and we don't have names yet and we haven't asked for names yet we're gonna wait and see if we have a peacock a peahen or two of of each and then we'll start to ask for some names here pretty soon i think it'll be a lot of fun to get your help and then maybe have a vote or have us pick how these guys are ultimately named And lastly, one of the, the fun things that these guys have brought have been a new excitement to our farm. I mean, it's certainly, you've seen it with the growth of our channel and we couldn't thank you guys enough for your interest in our family, our farm, our animals, and now our new pea chicks. We're excited to be on that journey and we're excited to have you guys along with us. So let us know if you have any other questions about our pea fowl. We'd love to learn more about them and to answer any questions you guys may have. So we thank you guys for hanging out with us and we will see you guys next time. Baby Rooster, check it out.